Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. This video is from chapter 2 of Mr. Ballster's, uh, Ballster's book. Uh, and here we will be solving series parallel configuration and primarily and chapter problem 12 and 13. And this is on the request of a student. We have already learned that the silicon diode requires 0.7 volt to turn it on, germanium 0.3 and gallium arsenide requires 1.2 volt. Terminal and also touching the positive terminal of the second diode. Uh, so the diodes will become forward bias and we can now redraw the circuit like this. So this one is 0 0.7 diode replaced by 0 0.7 and this diode is also replaced by 0 0.7 because of the forward bias. Also, we are assuming two currents, I1 and I2. You can take any direction as long as you follow the convention. Okay. Now, from the circuit, you can see V01 is actually this voltage, so 0 0.7 volt. Also, V02 is this voltage, so 0 0.7. So, we'll write it. The two answers, V01 is 0 0.7 and V02 is also 0 0.7. Now the third answer we have to find current, current I is I1 plus I2, they are in the same direction. So first uh, uh, we'll find I1 from the left loop or left mesh. From here we go minus 20, I1 into 1K and plus 0 0.7. So I1 is 19.3. And for I2, left, uh, right mesh, from here we go 0 0.7 plus I2 0 0.47 and 0 0.7 here, so I2 is 0. Now I is I1 plus I2, so adding the two, I is also 19.3 milliampere. Okay, question number 13, slightly tricky, uh, but uh, we'll make it easy. This is the circuit and here also the logic is same that 10 volt positive is being applied here and touching positive of the silicon diode and also touching positive of the uh, gallium arsenide diode. So both of these diodes will become forward bias. So let's redraw the circuit here. So the, we have replaced the diode by their forward voltages 0 0.7 here and 1.2 here. We connected a battery. And now we'll solve the two loops, the upper loop and the lower loop to find I1 and I2. And also note that to find V0, we need to find I1 plus I2, and that multiplied by two will give us V0. So the upper loop, we go from here and this way, this is the equation, minus 10, 0 0.7, I1, 2K, and here it is I1 plus I2, 2K. Simplifying, we get equation number one. Similarly, the lower loop, KVL equation, simplifying, we get equation number two. Now, if you subtract, we can get this term canceled. So subtracting equation two from one, we get a very simplified uh, equation. And from this equation, we can calculate I in terms of I1. So I2 is I1 minus 0 0.25 milliampere from here. Okay, now we'll put this value of I2 in any of the equations. I'm, I'm putting it in equation number one. So putting I2 in equation number one, so just where I2 is given, we'll write I1 minus 0 0.25 milliampere. Simplifying, I1 will be 1.633 milliampere. And now, since I1 and ID are same, the question has asked to find ID, therefore ID is equal to I1 is equal to 1.633 milliampere. So the first answer we have found, now to find V0, we need to find I2 also. So we put the value of I1 in this equation to find I2. So I2 is 1.383 milliampere. 
and now v naught is i1 plus i2 into 2k putting in the value of i1 and i2 multiply by 2k the answer is 6.03 volt so this is the final answer and this is the answer given in the book so if this is exactly same there the fourth digit is we have got 633 and the book has 635 so anyway so this is how you can easily solve this type of a question so i hope you have been able to follow this thank you